Hey guys, it's Meme and my trusty decorating sidekick. Shenanigans here. Now we're to the fun part of the tree. If you have missed any of our playlist of videos, this is part three. There are two other parts. Be sure to catch those. You can find the links in the description or on the playlist that you're watching. Step three is sprays and picks. These are my favorite part of the tree. And to be honest with you, if you only decorated a tree with this, you would love it. So if ribbon is not your thing, and we talk about that in part two, then come right here to sprays and picks. You'll love it. Now, the decorator's way, that's what we want to talk to you about. The third step, they do a cluster. Now, Shannon's putting a cluster together, and I just want to talk you through what that is. So, using the same pieces we used in the topper, we're going to create some clusters. Now, how that works, and you can see, Shannon will hold this one up. You can see what that looks like when it's clustered together. But you're going to take one of each of the pieces that you did, spread them out, nestle them together. I'll show you what I mean. We're going to spread this one out. And then I need to open this berry up a little bit. Did y'all see our rogue berry in part one? We thought that was funny when we found it later. <laughs> and then we're just going to lay these together like so. So we're just making them one happy family. And then we're using poinsettias for this one also. Yes. Oh, She's, it's hiding. We'll find it. <laughs> All right. And so we've got this guy. Look how he looks. Look, we don't want that. We're going to open him up and make him so pretty. So you just take each petal and you just work the wires and open your poinsettia the way you want it to look. So I'm just going to open this guy up. You can open them wide, thinner. You can curl the branches of the petals. Of the, are these petals or leaves on a poinsettia? We don't know. Age-old question. The petals up, and then I'm going to lay this one in toward the bottom. You see that? And then we'll put a gray one in as well. Were we using gray or are we using a different one? Gray. Okay. That's two. All right. So then your gray one will go beside it, and we've created a cluster, which I always just call a spray. And Kristen laughs at me because I'm like, you mean a spray? She's like, they're a cluster. So that's what we're creating. So then what you'll do, and again, you can edit these more on the tree when you get them there. You want to take these ends and just twist them together. That's the beauty of these wires. Is you can just twist them around each other. You got you to gotta use all your fingers. And then see this bottom part? I'm just going to turn it up because I really don't need that much length for what we're doing. So look how beautiful. It looks like you're going to, you could wrap this with, or tie a ribbon around it, put some cellophane and give it as a gift. Yes. Right? Yes, you can. It's beautiful. Now the fun part. I love this part. We're putting them on the tree. And this is what makes the tree just beautiful. Just beautiful. So watch this. So this section here, you can see how much green we have. Watch what happens when we take our cluster and we just put it into the tree. And you do have to work around that pole in there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to me meander in until I get in. And just look at the gorgeousness that that creates. Now, I've done nothing to hold that in place, but you want to reach in, grab a branch that's got some wire, and just wrap it around so that'll hold there. That's all you need. Nobody's coming up and pulling things off of your tree. I do want to open this guy up a little bit more. But look at that beautifulness. So pretty. Gorgeous. <laughs> and... See how I have it going down like this? You don't have to do that. You can send it in other directions. But I feel like that's how it would grow on the tree if it was there. And we get another one that Shannon's made. This one's so pretty. And then I want to just meander around. We're going between ribbons. We're going where there's large spaces. I feel like this is the space. I'm going to let Shannon check the monitor and tell me because I can't see that. Yeah. In this area. Hard to... I want to make sure you guys can see. see. Yeah, that's good. So I'm going to send this one in like so and see how I'm letting it kind of come down the tree. So pretty. And I'm using a piece of wire in the back to hold that in place. And I want that to just nestle there. I just love it. So we're going to run around the tree. Look how pretty. Oh, my goodness. We're going to run around the tree and add those sprays. And then we'll do the next step. Oh, we should pause here to say, if you would like a recipe for what I'm using here, please watch decorators videos on their channel, their YouTube channel, and also check out their website. They give you recipes. They even have a little card with the recipe on it for this. You will love it. Check them out. They'll give you all the information you need.
All right, guys, for the next part, we've got our clusters placed. I'm going to step back and let you see. And you can see I'm going to use this little pointer. One here, one here, one here, and one here. We zigzag down the tree, or I like to call it like an argyle pattern down the tree. Now you can see we've got some areas here like green, some green here, but you have other picks in your kit. So what you'll do is start to open up these beautiful poinsettias. Look at these. And also my favorite, these black and white plaid. And you're just going to find a home for them. And let me show you how easy it is. I feel like this is a pretty good open area. So I'm just going to tuck this in and kind of where it lands, it lands. And listen, the beauty of the flower itself does the work. That's it. So we're just going to run around and anywhere we have a spot that we feel could hold another pop of color, another floral, we're just going to place that in and decorate it how we like it. Look at that. That's so beautiful. Let's fill in spots. Okay, now for my super favorite part. Ready for this? We get to use the cutesies. Look at these snowballs, those berries. We're going to use our packages and look at these to add so much texture. This is that step that a decorator does, okay? This is the thing that steps it up. I want you to see this. I'm going to open these snowballs up. This is what adds. This is where people go, look, they add snowballs to that tree. You know what I'm saying when you're yes. looking? So look, we're just going to find a spot and we're going to tuck this in and remember everything's wired and can be moved around and placed how you want it but what we're looking for is the texture that it brings isn't that pretty turn it onto a berry show us about that one well i'm just gonna shove it on up in here because it's so pretty they're like iced or sugared looking they are gorgeous and look how they just carry the texture out then for like our packages, I can place one of these guys. Um, here's a good spot for something like this. I'll tuck it down in here. Honestly, just place it how you want it. This is your tree and there's, look, it's Christmas. It's hard to mess it up because it's, I mean, look, every time we add something, it gets prettier and prettier, right? Now this branch that, that Shannon's adding, I'm afraid you guys might not can see in camera very good. I will make sure when we do the pan to give you the final look of the tree, I give you all of that but it's so stunning. I'm gonna see if I can put one up here so you can see it really good. Look at this area here. Look how long this is, okay? I'm gonna send this down into the tree and look at that gorgeous sparkle. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. You don't have to leave it that far out. See, I'm. Th this is what I'm doing. I'm stepping back to see if I like it. If that's too far out, I can tuck it further or I can bring it to the front. You just look at your tree and see what you like, but I want that sparkle coming out of there. Yes, I like it. We can do some, one of those over there to balance it out a little bit, one of those sparkly, sparkly ones. Okay, we're gonna fill the tree. Okay, guys, this tree is just stunning. Do you see all the beauty in this tree? And the funny thing is, I think you can see how I did my texture on this side and how Shannon did hers on that side. <laughs> but I think that's good for you to see because we both stepped back and we liked what we did and it's your taste, how you want it done. So that's cool for you to see our different ways of doing it. All right, there's one more step to this and you're gonna think it's ironic because I used to think 
being raised in my house that it was step one, but it's not. It's actually the last step. So let's head to part four of this video playlist series. If you want to see the links, they're in the description below, or you can follow the playlist that you're on now. All the information for decorators is also in the description, and we will see you in part four shortly. Thank you.